Hey everyone. Another way of sealing our little globes is just going to be demonstrated now. And this is your traditional method of using a modeling balloon, either a 160 or a 260, just wrapped around it repeatedly. First things first for this is we're just going to pre-inflate the balloon to stretch it out. Just to open up all your little seams on it. Because the little seam that we've got down here for the valve is actually folded over and you can see the creases within it. So we just want to make sure that that's open as well because that'll give us a nice big square opening to insert feathers and whatever you needed to into it. Just going to trim off just below the inflation hole and that still gives us a lovely long neck to tie with. And you can see once I've opened that we've then got quite a big neck to put our feathers into. Now feathers you can actually just feed them in directly since you have got quite a wide opening or you can just use a funnel as we would do normally. So in the interest of keeping this a little bit quicker here's one I prepared earlier. We've got lots of feathers in there just straightforward little cream feathers all been inserted via the neck just need to inflate this now and then tie it. To prep the tying process I've got a 160 clear balloon here and I'm just going to hold the end of it that's sealed and I'm just going to squeeze the air out of that balloon and tie a knot in it. And that just makes a 160 ribbon that's really, really stretchy. So I'm not going to get any air bubbles in when I'm going to be sealing the balloon. I'm just going to inflate this now with helium. So bear with me a second. Whilst these are quite tough balloons and the vortex of the feathers spinning around isn't as much of a concern as it is for other bubble balloon types, you still kind of want a little bit of a gentle inflate because the faster the actual feathers spin around, the more risk you've got of them just catching and popping the balloon. I so say very, very easy to do in the other bubble balloons. In this one, since it is a bit tougher, not as simple. I'm just twisting around the neck and my globe and then taking my 160 balloon and I'm just pulling that really really tightly as I'm wrapping around and then sealing a little double knot is all it takes if you are a little bit nervous of this method because you've had issues in the past then there is a way, since you do have so much neck left at the end of there, rather than just trimming it off, you can fold that over and tie around again. So basically you're giving it a double tie. Just makes it a little bit more tricky for any helium inside to escape out. And then we can just knot that. So you're effectively using the latex to seal it in two places. Seal it once around the nape of the neck of the balloon and then folding over the neck to do it again. So I'm hoping that's getting picked up on the camera so you can kind of see what I've done on there. Don't worry too much about the mess because we can hide that with either our little balloon collars or our bows but just another little way to securely seal the globe balloon. Just going to get a bit of curling ribbon. Do a little cinch knot. Like so. Pop that over the, the neck of the balloon. And then tie. 
and here I've got a little bow that I've made earlier. Very straightforward, simple bow design to do that I can just tie onto where we've sealed using the finer ribbon, the little organza ribbon that's on here. And tie that into place. So you can see with that, we're holding it really quite nicely. The little bow sealing it, you can't see the mess at the end. It's all nicely hidden away. And you've got a lovely little sealed feather balloon using the modeling balloon method.